How's it going, YouTube? It's time for me to introduce myself to the world. I've been putting this off for years and years and years and years and years and years. It's time for me to fucking do it. All right, so you know me as Legit, AKA King Swift. I've been doing music since I was about 14 years old. And it's just been constant work, but hectic shit on my, on my personal life. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make this video to like, give you an idea of exactly who I am and why I rap the way that I do. I know if you heard any of my fucking songs, you're probably thrown all over the place. Like, okay, is he a fucking gangster? Is he a fucking a, a lyricist? Triple X fucking clone, what the fuck's going on? So the, the thing is, it's like, I love music in all fucking forms. Like you don't understand the love I have for this shit. It is a, I'm in love with the process, I'm in love with the writing, I'm in love with the sound, just the, everything. And I hate when people talk about skill because you don't know what the fuck skill is. Like, listen to me. And I can have a, I could hold a full class on this. I'm not, I'm not one of these kids running around just like writing giant shit down in their fucking journal. I'm a real professional songwriter. It's a combination of literary devices, flow patterns, aggressiveness, and overall just straight up fucking artistry. And this is the only place in life I can really put my emotions as a man, right? It's that outlet for me when I, I didn't really have another one growing up. It's like, I grew up in the hood. There wasn't shit else for me to do. Until I got older and I started working on cars and I got my first job at a shop then. I went through some hard fucking times. I lost job, car, girlfriend on the same day, on the same week. Uh, around that time in my life, I, was, I had to be like 19 and I started doing lift. I was a lift driver for a while. And what that taught me how to do was how to, how to communicate with different types of people, right? Cause you meet every, every type of fucking person being a goddamn lift driver. I ended up in freaking Ann Arbor at one point. I'm like, if you know Michigan, you know how far Ann Arbor is from Detroit. I ended up all the way out there for some, for some reason. Time goes by, uh, I'm 20 now. Everything goes fucking left in life, right? I wasn't dropping music as consistently anymore. I was still writing songs and getting better at perfecting my crap, but it's like, I'm 20 and I decided to join the military at that time. Now, I was just, I wasn't gonna go with like, after duty, I was gonna go National Guard for so that I could get the training, get the experience, get some type of like structure in my life. Yeah, it wasn't that I was afraid of fighting or nothing. Honestly, I wanted to. That's the thing that caused me to go infantry. I was like, <laughs> you say gung ho cool guy shit? Ooh, shit, yeah, I was one of those kids. <laughs> yeah, they got me, bro. I was doing that for about five, six years before I finally had deployment and like, that was all right. I'm not gonna talk about that too much, but that's when I was, I picked writing up back up again, because it's like, when I was on deployment, it was just like nothing but hard work. It would be big pockets of hard work and then short pockets of down, of down, down time. So it's like, if I wasn't in the gym for two hours or listening to one of my audio books, I was writing songs. I was putting everything I had into it because it's, the military takes your individualism from you. And, and it's like, I honestly can't remember the type of person I was beforehand. I don't know who the fuck I was. Some fucking kid with long ass hair and fucking glasses and no muscles like I do now. Come on, come, come on, bro. It's like, I never thought I would be smoking <laughs> or vaping. I never thought I'd be fucking having tattoos and shit like this. I never thought I'd be having big ass muscles. I never thought I'd be anywhere close to a fucking athlete. I never thought I'd be in fucking combat for real. <laughs> I never thought I'd be in any of those situations before. Like, I needed my release back. I needed to get my individualism back. I needed to get who I was back. In those down moments is when I was writing a lot of songs. I think I wrote like 25 songs when I was gone. When I came home, first thing I did was call my boy. And I'm like, bro, how much would you charge me for 16 songs? Cause I chose the 16 out of the 25 that I wrote, I chose the 16 best one. Get me in the studio, I got 16 songs, bro. Like. Let's do this shit. Went over to his house, recorded them straight through. Pro tip, producers love that. When you go, when you come to the studio prepared, you already got your beats on the flash drive, you already got 
your your songs written down it's even better if you memorize it now you're not fumbling around with your notes and shit it, please for god's sake ride your phone and write to your fucking beats make sure if you're gonna buy beats on the rights to it i use b stars i'll leave their link too so like it it does get expensive but that's when you find the most valuable stuff right you get what you pay for I used to make beats when I was younger, but I broke so many computers doing that, bro. I don't know why my computers just don't. Any computer I have just does not like FL for a very long time. And it is like, no, it ain't gonna work out. Plus it's like, I'm not in love with being a beat maker. I'm in love with writing songs. So I have no problem buying my beats from someone else or having people make them for me or getting a pack sent to me. On with the story, hit the studio. I record like four or five songs straight and this had to be the most fire thing I ever they had to be literally my best work I was not trying to do the same thing as I was doing when I was younger if you remember me back in my SoundCloud days it was not the same as now like it was not the same as now I had to do a lot of self-development and a lot of growing and a lot of research and a lot of you know it, it, to get to where I am right now out of those 16 I recorded I picked the 10 best ones to release on the album. It was such a weird moment. It's like, wow, bro, like, just like months ago, I was in the middle of a fucking combat zone. Now look at me, I'm releasing the whole fucking album. The way that I structured the album was really unique because normally you see an artist keep one theme throughout the entire project, right? I wanted to shoot off everything I could possibly do to show people how versatile I am and I can do literally anything from the most lyrical shit you ever heard to the most ignorant shit you ever heard. I can do all that shit. It's no, it's, I can do all that. It's no problem. You can find the album somewhere on the screen. I'm gonna post it somewhere. The reason it took me so long to introduce myself to the world and make a video like this is because it's like, I like to keep my different life separate from my personal life to my military life to my music life i like to keep all three of those things completely separate from each other but at this point it's like that just recently all my guys wanted me to rap for them because they saw my tiktoks and they saw my instagram stories and they saw my posts and my videos and my youtubes and i'm like everyone just wanted me to rap and it's like i rap for everybody there and i'm like and I'm getting compliments. I'm getting like, bro, that was dope. I'm like, hey, is, hey, is he trash? And I'm like, nah, bro, like that shit was hard. And that, that kind of inspired me a little bit to be like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't keep these lives of mine separate for very much longer. It's okay because I know if, at the end of the day, nobody fucking cares, really. Where they gonna be like, oh, this guy's a soldier, but he's fucking rapping. Ha <laughs> ha, you know, like people are gonna talk this shit. I don't really give a damn. This is me. This has been my introduction. I hope you understand where I'm coming from a little bit more. And it's like my whole journey when it came to making Unexpected as an album. Thank you for everybody that loves it. Thank you for everybody that listens to me, and follows me, subscribes to my videos, all that. I got more content coming. Have not given up on you because this is honestly why I love. This is why I love doing. And if I can't do that, then what the fuck is the point? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Like it if you like it. If you really want to check my whole catalog, yeah, go check out my SoundCloud. Or you can check out my new album, Unexpected. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, everywhere you get music. Plus, I got a merch shop up right now. I got some cool ass shit on there. You better be, listen, just go to the website, just check it out. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Cool, whatever, but I promise. There's gonna be something dope on there that you gonna want. And I'm right here when you want it. <laughs> yeah, my partner was down, I came through. You needed bread, I came through. You needed gang, I came to. Let's you catch when I jump, dude. The drugs were taking my brother. 